the land of Israel is a source of blessings for the whole wide world. The blessing that uh, we have been blessed with by having this beautiful, beautiful opportunity to love the land, to travel, to walk in it, to enjoy it, is very highly and special. The most important thing for us to know is that every spark of holy energy that we are enjoying and receiving is meant for the sake of sharing, distributing, illuminating the world with it. Therefore, all people that ever walked on the Holy Land that has the Mary to live in it, Jewish or non-Jewish, it's not important at all. It's not doesn't matter at all. Every person must understand that this is the blessed land that the Creator Himself chose to give um, to His people, to the real true believers of the generation. You can never know who you are because you don't remember your history. You don't know from which tribe um, your family is coming from. And even if you have some tradition in your community or that your parents told you some, this is only a certain small percent of the truth of what really happened and occurred to your family in earlier generations. Many times people joined certain families and were divided and separated from their own tribes and families and joined others and their blood and their soul mixed with another family. And it, if, if it happened like 500 years ago or 1300 years ago, it affected your family tree in such a meaningful way that one member from a different tribe joined your family. And even though that it cannot be seen by the color of your face or by the color of your eyes, and even if his character was totally bland into your population around you, it doesn't mean that his energy and his soul and his spirit was not affecting you greatly, you and your surroundings. So in that sense and in that way, it might be that even if you don't see yourself as an Israeli person or you don't know of any relations to the tribes of Israel, the inner desire that you have, the love for the Torah, the love for the Holy Land, is already an evident for a great deep connection that you have to the souls of Israel. And it just simply means that there is a spark of a soul of the children of Yaakov in your blood. It cannot be that there are people who call themselves Palestinians that live on the Holy Land of Israel and their love and their um, desire to the land of Israel is so strong if they don't have connection to families and to ancient, ancient tribes. It cannot be that you have Christian people that loves and admires the land of Israel and they want to visit it in every opportunity, if not for that same reason that there is an Israeli blood that is running in their veins. We don't know those things and we cannot see those things and of course we cannot remember those things and in most of the times it's not even documented properly but it is the truth and you can sense it from the voice of your soul. If your soul is screaming Israel, if your soul is screaming Torah, if your soul is screaming HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I love Hashem, I want to know about Hashem, I am connected to His people, it means that you're an Israeli soul, that there is an Israeli spark within you that makes those waves shine and, and change your reality. We should believe in ourselves. We must believe in ourselves. We must recognize the qualities of our soul, of our spirit, as the foundations of the spiritual structure of our being and to recognize the inner connection to the soul of Yaakov, to the soul of the holy tribes of Yaakov, is a very essential thing for your spiritual development. I believe 
and I know that for a fact. You can see that in all the prophecies of the real true prophets that reveal to us the future that uncovered the mysterious and hidden future to come, and it is coming in our days, that millions of people from all nations will wake up to join the holy tribes of Israel in the Holy Land of Israel. The tribe of Yehuda, that is the Jewish people, this is one out of 12 tribes. You have another 11 tribes that are lost, that are lost and forgotten. And the way that they will come back is through their inner will, your inner passion, your inner desire to connect and reconnect yourself to your roots by learning Torah, by learning Hasidut, by learning Kabbalah, by learning Halakha, by learning the Torah, by learning Mishnah, by learning Gemara, by learning speeches about Breslev, about Chabad, the Tanya, the Likutei Moharan, all those are clear signs that inside your soul there is a godly spark, heavenly spark within that belongs to the holy tribes of Israel, that all the tribes together as one, united with love and honor and respect, were standing and receiving the holy Torah, the holy tablets from Mount Sinai, from Hashem, from Moshe, that was from the tribe of Levi and not from the tribe of Yehuda. All the tribes are one unit. We are all connected. We are all one. We are one family, the family of Yaakov and his wives. And you're one of us. If your heart is beating, if your soul is screaming, if your spirit is shouting and roaring, I love Israel, I love the Torah, I want to see Hashem, I want to see the face of Hashem, I want to meet a Jewish person, I want to meet an Israeli person, I want to go and live in Israel, I want to see the Western Wall, I want to walk on the, on the, on the walls of the old city, I want to walk in the alleys of Yerushalayim. If you have those dreams for Zion, people in Jamaica dreaming about Zion, do you know why you're dreaming about Zion? Because that's the only memory that you have for your insight from your source of being. People in Africa, people in Europe, people in Russia, people in the US, people across the world are waking up from within to remember and to pay attention to the inner voice of their souls that is screaming Ahavat Israel, love and connection to the people of Israel. You should love yourself. You should connect to your inner voice and to count on it that it's guiding you to the right place, on the right way, in a blessed and holy way. It's a great heat. The sun is out. It's written that HaKadosh Baruch Hu before redemption will bring out the sun out of its pocket. Maybe this hot day is a sign for that. Maybe Moshech will come today, hopefully. The light is shining on us and Bezrat Hashem with great love. I'm going to go back into my house with a great air condition that we have there. <laughs> and I'm going to keep on breathing and you're going to stay strong and solid. Believe in yourselves and pray. And may the Creator answer all your prayers and requests and will reveal His loving kindness upon all of us together, united as one, that the light will shine from us to all our surroundings, for all of us to wake up together and to climb up to the holy mountain of Hashem, the Temple Mount, and to see His face, accept His glory and His kingship in our days with all our loved ones. Amen.